Everyone absolutely loves Chewbacca in Star Wars. I have never met anyone who doesn't. Well, I think we've got 50,000 people here, and I've seen most of them today. today. Uh, so you are correct in what you say. From little children to 90-year-olds, they all love Chewie. And I don't un I understand more now than when we actually did the movie, because... Chewie has become a teddy bear, he's become a security blanket, and he's just grown. Now it's three generations coming on four, and if you can't get a teddy bear to last that long, you're in a bad state. What we want to know is, of course, you, know, you said people have been asking you about the future movies, but and you don't, and you don't know, I can understand that, but would you like to see Chewbacca make a comeback? Chewie I, back on screen? I think, I think Chewie will be wonderful back on screen because having got it practised for three movies, four movies, now... Um, Chewie would be, yeah, he would be an addict. He would be one of those uh, additions that would be actually helpful to everybody. So, yeah, bring him back, and who knows? We will see. We will be on the big screen again once, one day. Sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned, because everybody's getting older, and you might as well do it and have fun. And we've heard talk of maybe people like Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher coming back as well. Would you like to see those guys back on the big screen too? I'd love to, you know, we had, I think we had, over the three movies, we had a good team um, that was, uh, that was not, uh, not in agreement totally, but most of the time they were in agreement. And after, at the end of the movies, they're all back together again. And that is the way it should be. What was it like wearing that outfit? Because that was quite some stuff you had on there. It's like going to Wimbledon today, playing on centre court and losing. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's extremely, extremely warm. The only place that it was suitable was when we were on Empire in Norway. So that was minus 15 and it was really cold. But it had, the suit held up and I didn't get frostbite or anything like that. So everything worked out extremely well. Now, when you look back over those three movies, and obviously everyone holds them with, in such affection, what were your particularly strong memories, either of filming or particular scenes that you had? Um, as I say, the Norwegian shoot was probably the worst shoot that we ever had. Uh, and there's certain scenes. One would be in, Star in New Hope, would be the chess game. Because you've got a chess board, and there is nothing on it, and you're supposed to play chess. So, and I, I checked with one of the technicians, and he said, I said, you know, there's nothing on the board. He said, don't worry about it. Make it up, and we'll put it in later. <laughs> and that's what happened. So, you know, it was there, as I say, that over the years, there's too many too many uh, scenes and incidents that sem seemed funny or seemed serious at the time. Now you look at them, they're part of history.